can we all agree that we wish we would have had a school teacher like Miss Landers? She was beautiful, wholesome, patient, caring, always offering wisdom, guidance to Beaver and his friends. She was just the best. Let's talk about Sue Randall. Just in case you don't know, and I imagine you already know, but just in case, Leave it to Beaver was a popular American sitcom that aired in the late 1950s and early 1960s. It centered around the misadventures of a suburban boy named Beaver Cleaver. And Miss Landers was his beautiful school teacher. And today, I am going to be talking about Sue Randall, the actress that played Miss Landers on that classic television show. Sue was born Marion Burnside Randall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on October 8, 1935. And at the tender age of 10, Sue displayed remarkable talent and began performing on stage. After graduating from high school, Sue moved to New York City and enrolled at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in Manhattan. And during her time there, Sue performed exceptionally well in her studies and graduated with honors. Sue's first credited on-screen appearance came in 1955 when she starred in the ABC anthology series Star Tonight in an episode entitled Golden Victory. 1955 also brought Sue the role of Diane Emerson on the CBS daily soap opera Valiant Lady, a role she took over when actress Dolores Sutton left the series. Sue played Diane on 510 episodes over two years. That's a lot of episodes. Sue made her only film appearance as Ruthie Saylor, a reference desk worker in the 1957 romantic comedy film Death Set, starring Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn. And although the movie at the time received mixed reviews, the lighthearted film is now regarded far, far more favorably. Sue became a regular cast member on the TV show Leave it to Beaver in 1958, playing the role of Miss Alice Landers, Beaver's elementary school teacher. She joined the show in the second season, replacing Diane Brewster, who played school teacher Miss Canfield in the first season. And if you're curious about Diane Brewster, I also have a video on her on my page. On October 16, 1958, Sue made her very first appearance as Miss Landers in the episode called Ward's Problem. But one of my favorite Miss Landers episodes appears in the third season, an episode called Teacher Comes to Dinner. And in this episode, Beaver's parents, June and Ward, want to show their appreciation to Miss Landers for being such an inspiring teacher. And without running it by Beaver, June invites Miss Landers to dinner, which makes Beaver very, very uncomfortable. And he tells Larry about this impending dinner and swears Larry to secrecy. But of course, Larry tells all of the other guys and they decide to spy on the Beaver and Miss Landers dinner date. So Larry, Gilbert, and Whitey go to Beaver's house and they hide in a tree where they can secretly watch. And the boys are shocked to see Miss Landers wearing open toe shoes, saying at one point, look, she's got toes and everything. Miss Landers was precisely what you hoped for in a teacher. She was intelligent, caring, kind, warm, with a beautiful smile that lit up the room. And in a 1958 newspaper article, Sue said she regularly received fan mail from children, telling her they wished she was their teacher. Sue appeared in 28 episodes of Leave it to Beaver between 1958 and 1962, making her final appearance in the episode Nobody Loves Me, which aired on February 17, 1962. And although a supporting character, Miss Landers remains a memorable part of Leave it to Beaver, 
representing the nurturing guidance that every child needs. Sue Randall's portrayal encapsulated the gentle wisdom and innocence of that era. Sue was a popular guest star on many television shows during the 1960s, including Gunsmoke, The Fugitive, Bonanza, The Twilight Zone, and several episodes of Death Valley Days, where she played a different character in each appearance. After retiring from acting in 1967, Sue returned to her hometown of Philadelphia. During her remaining years, she worked in administrative positions and actively participated in telethons and local events to support various national and local charitable organizations. Sue had two marriages in her lifetime. Her first marriage began in 1957 and lasted until her husband died in 1971. Together, they had two children. Sue's second marriage lasted until her passing. Sue was diagnosed with cancer in 1982 and passed away on October 26, 1984, just two weeks after turning 49. If you have a favorite Miss Landers scene, leave it below. And if you're interested in this sort of content, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.